All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I got in the house something really special. I got uh, the uh, Chivalry of Custom Division F3B in the hand. Uh, this is just a spectacular knife, guys. Uh, um, so when I was shooting uh, this video to show you how to maintain this fantastic piece, uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, the audio of my uh, video just got lost. So right now, uh, this is just like a commentary of uh, me just uh, talking over this video. That's why you don't hear any sound from the video. So uh, I don't know what I said uh, uh, during this video because I just was about to edit this one and I realized there was no audio. Uh, the knife is not with me anymore and uh, it would have been like a pity not to show you guys what I went through to take this fella apart because uh, it's incredible. Uh, this is a Damasteel, uh, of course, uh, blade. It has um, a liner lock uh, uh, configuration, so you have... Uh, a, uh, the lock, of course, is hidden uh, underneath these scales, uh, lightning strike carbon fiber and titanium bolster. So here you see me grabbing this cyber tool with a regular uh, bit and just uh, taking down the pivot from the lock side very carefully. So this is done and you can see some beautiful zirconium uh, uh, pivot collars right there. I believe the zirconium spacer as well. And uh, one of the fanciest Shiro in the business. So here, uh, as you can see, the uh, screw that is holding the body is uh, pretty close to the pocket clip. So that's why I put a little bit of tape, clear tape, right over there around the bit. So the bit is not going to be able to rub up against the pocket clip and... Uh, leave any scratch so like that just be slow careful like that you see there's a point of contact between the bit and the pocket clip so just be careful keep it a little bit angled and just go very very slow you see i'm going really slow and i'm keeping it at one angle so what i'm doing here as well is as I disassemble, as I unscrew the, that, that screw from the back, I'm pushing the Chicago screw up to the front. So the screw on the back doesn't protrude much and leaves me enough clearance to uh, slowly remove that screw without marring that pocket clip, which would be like a pity. So that's why I'm keeping it this at a little bit of an angle. I don't want to touch that in any ways, and just going slow, because the, the thing, you know, the point is just uh, when you loosen it uh, at the beginning, then it's going to be, there's not going to be any force uh, needed. So just go slow, take it easy, because if you have this piece right there, you don't want to mess it up uh, uh, for sure. So right over here, I'm just grabbing this hard plastic tool to push the pivot out. Uh, that is a captive pivot. You can see the ball bearing right there on the show side. Keep it pinched and just uh, make sure when you um, open the blade that you don't do this mistake that I just did. So you see the, um, the pivot needs uh, to go back or you can use just a little bit of a yeah wedge to, to pull it up and center the hole and put something like to, to have it uh, like a pivoting, of course. So you can open the blade and you're going to see why, because what, what is going on. So very slowly, just slide the blade out and uh, you have the handle. Now, look at this. So that's why I, I didn't want to scrap this video, because if you look at this, how are you going to take this apart? Let me know. Think. It's not obvious because uh, you can see that this screw, th this scale, sorry, it's detached, but it's not coming out normally, all right? So you wedge it a little bit, and then, because the way this is done, you got to slide it out in a very specific way. So wedge it and just slide it out very, very gently. Take your time. 
don't rush it because you can mess it up and you'll see in a second what I mean. So lightning strike, carbon fiber scale, three D milled are snug. So there is no hardware keeping in place these scales. Keep that in mind. So the actual titanium part underneath is milled out completely as you're gonna see in a second. Look at this beautiful. This is ridiculous, guys. So that it just slides in and snaps into those pockets. Same thing goes for the other side. Once you remove the scale, the, the um, lightning strike, carbon fiber scale, you gotta uh, grab a second uh, size of bit, like the, uh, this uh, one that is uh, needed to keep the actual titanium scales together. You just unscrew that screw. And uh, so now you are at the point where you can actually remove the scales. And it's just uh, going to reveal the beauty behind this thing. You see, I'm doing, I know I'm, I'm doing some gestures with the hands. I, I, I can't remember what I'm saying, but here is just like some time to admire this fantastic work. You get to see, look at this milling, milled out pockets, guys. The skeletonization on this knife is just nuts. It's ridiculous. It's one of the nicest knives on the inside. It's gorgeous on the outside, but inside is just stupid, stupidly beautiful. You can see the hidden screw for the pocket clip. Uh, now I'm just grabbing some uh, rubbing alcohol because I'm going to start to clean up uh, the all the gunk, you know, the oil, the residue that is going on on the inside. So uh, grabbing some uh, uh, tweezers with a fine tip and just uh, emptying that bearing uh, track of all those rollers. So this is a custom division, guys, so running on single row roller bearings. Uh, the full custom lineup is going to roll on double row roller bearings, and here with the other uh, tweezers, you just can pull apart that open cage for the bearings and just grab all these uh, little rollers out very gently. Look at that gunk. How satisfact satisfactory is for me to clean this stuff is unreal. I, I can't understand, but I just love it. It's um, it's a really meditative process uh, that uh, makes me, keeps me like uh, calm and quiet. So check this out, uh, uh, polished area for the uh, this Dama steel blade, skeletonization on the flipper tab, nice window on the blade, of course, uh, and uh, a lot of gunk going on over here. So here is the time to clean up all these crevices with some rubbing alcohol, cleaning all the pockets, uh, grabbing some uh, uh, magnets in a little uh, plastic uh, bag to attract the steel washers that are underneath the bearings. So when you do this operation, you're able then to clean the underside, uh, let's say, of these washers, and which are used because you don't want uh, um, the bearings just to roll uh, on titanium. So you want uh, to roll on steel, and, uh, and that's why they are like that. So uh, just cleaning uh, all the pivot areas, uh, and here you can one more time enjoy, like, how cool is this thing? Like, it's just, uh, guys, so good. Um, yeah, so I got... Uh, to clean the other side of the track of the bearing. And uh, as you can see, I'm using a custom division uh, uh, tool, pen tool, another uh, instance of attracting the washers uh, with some magnets. Just be real quick, you don't want to magnetize too, too much those uh, washers, clean the inside uh, as well. And when you um, put them back, just remember to keep the like the, the, the used, the run, the worn side facing the bearings because that's going to keep the action super smooth. Zirk backspacer, 
getting a little bit of a cleanup as well. And uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's strange, like not to to hear any noise from you know the the, the clinking, all the tools. Um, it's a little bit of a pity, but I thought like to just save this video, even if it's gonna be a little bit longer. But guys, there's nobody uh, up to this moment that uh, uh, ever disinstalled this guy on YouTube. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, all these effort because uh, the, the, the amount of time that requ is required to, to make this kind of video, guys, is just nuts. Imagine like 30 minutes just to shoot this. And now I'm, I'm, I'm spending like another 25 minutes to, to redub this video. Then I'm going to spend another half an hour to edit this video. Then I'm going to spend another half an hour to upload. It's a lot of work, guys. So let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have some appreciation for this stuff that I'm making, because it's really, I, I love it. So, you know, uh, I just love doing it. But if you like it uh, as well, just let me know. It's going to make uh, a world of, of difference uh, when I'm editing, you know, and cursing uh, because it takes so much time. Anyways, here I just made a little pool of rubbing alcohol and uh, just degreasing uh, uh, all the cages for the rollers right there and then just cleaning up the mess I'm noticing the shake uh, uh, of the camera big time hope it's not bothering you too much anyways these are the rollers uh, just a bunch of rollers right there now they are dried make sure you do this on a mat because uh, you don't want to lose those little fellas. So right now we can start uh, uh, reassembling the whole thing. So um, show side scale, uh, line up the keyed in captive with the ball bearing pivot screw, fall slot for the screwdriver on the show side, install the washer, slam the cage inside of that bearing track, grab your Shiro tweezers if you have, or if you have another brand, it doesn't matter. Just uh, make sure you take it easy and you just don't rush it. So what I like to do here, as you can see, is use two tweezers. One are a little bit uh, bulkier, one are a little bit finer. And uh, with, the, uh, with the bigger one, I can just pick up the uh, small roller vertically, let's say, from the flat sides and uh, just align the roller with the empty slot on the cage. And then with the second tweezers, I'm just uh, gently pushing it down when I have it aligned, like, not like in this case, but like in this case. And uh, I found this is like the fastest, the quickest method to uh, reinstall these little buggers. Um, it can be tedious, it can be frustrating because they sometimes don't want to just fall in the in place they just uh, you know they, they're gonna give you some uh, some headaches but the point is that you should keep your cool and just be like doing like your med kind of meditation because it's uh, kind of like a meditation for me and just you know keep it relaxed if you make a mistake no worries there's no rush just go back and retrace your step and fix it and that's going to be super pleasant. Now I'm adding a little bit of 10 weight nano oil, like one, two, three, and four drops um, right over there. So that side is done. And just uh, making sure to spread that nano oil all around those little rollers. And just put the scale aside. We're going to Approach the second scale, the, the lock side scale now. And look at that. 
how cool is this knife guys it's just so nice it's uh incredible the research the design the, the efforts uh went into making this one just great of course you notice that the bolsters are screwed in from the inside that's why you don't have access uh, on the show side to anything and you have to slide out that uh, scale which is gonna be intense because <laughs> I, it took me a while to figure out uh, how to take this guy apart because there's not many of these around and there's not many people that are brave enough <laughs> to take it apart because it takes a little bit of um, yeah I mean I'm not saying courage but kind of you know, you can risk to screw up you can mess it up and uh, this is an expensive piece so super rare you don't want to to mess uh, this thing up anyways almost done we got uh, a few bearings left and um uh, yeah, you see, it's it's just like a very, uh, it's a slow process, but uh, uh, you can really enjoy it. Put just some nice music and uh, uh, and just just do it. And as you can see, like every every one or two, uh, I'm just uh, moving the cage so it's still aligned with uh, the orientation. I will bring the roller up to that cage. You see, like. Or I can angle the, my hand, but it's better to, to keep it uh, lined up right away. So, also, this is done. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four drops of 10 weight nano oil to get these roller coated. I'm just going to do this operation right here. And... Uh, now, I think it's time to line everything up and uh, assemble the scales with this sketchy movement that it's unbelievable, but it wasn't that bad. I forgot, as you can see, to put a couple drops of uh, nano oil between the scale and the washer to create some surface tension so that thing doesn't occur. So it was a little bit of a not so clever move from my part, which is going to extend a little bit the length of this video, but it's all a uh, learning process. So this also uh, is something you want to make sure, like clean it up and just lube it a little bit so you can have uh, the surface tension playing a role in your favor. So that's, um, that's going to be good. And also, as you can see, now I'm just wasting more time because, yeah, these little things, they are pesky. And this is the last one that should go in. So now... We should be ready to rock and roll. Let's add a little bit more surface tension right over here so we don't do that again. And roll it around so you coat all those little cylinders. So now, there you go. Now we are safe. So line up everything. Put the blade in the right place. The scale is done. Um, we're going to do... We have to assemble the scales first um, so pivot goes on the show side pivot is keyed in so just if it doesn't snap just um, rotate that so like so transferring the stop pin and then look at that look at this fab never learns the lesson but this time was lucky so Look at this, three dots of oil. That thing just stays there, and now it's glued in, basically. Surface tension applied. Now, what are you going to do? Zerk spacer in place. And now, very gently and very precisely, just put the 
scale on top like that boom line up the spacer press it down a little bit so now you're gonna just add a little bit of just pinch it rotate the whole thing because you get you have to screw in the scales from the other side so I'm lining up the spacer and just grabbing that little screw with a little bit and just getting the scales finally together and uh, don't over tighten this thing all right there's no need for that so now it's pretty safe to rem to disengage the lock so that wasn't uh, probably that tight and i am actually unscrewing that to allow the spacer to do what i'm, I'm confused uh, with myself so i'm removing the spacer i think i missed something S something happened I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that happened. All right, all right, all right. So that was very, very bad. Sorry, guys. I, I forgot. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. This, this is crazy. This is crazy, guys. So just take your time. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time with these mistakes, like rookie mistakes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's all right not a big you can also skip this part of the rollers it's always tedious but you can maybe have fun seeing me like making wrong things but you know what not to do and that's like also the point of the video so you see mistakes then you don't do that mistakes those mistakes so here i'm struggling because i'm panicking with those rollers i'm like oh my god people looking at me what are they gonna think that i'm um, not capable of look at this like putting rollers back oh that's crazy so pa yeah pure panic look at this i'm sweating bullets probably but anyways it's gonna be pretty much done soon um two rollers left to close this thing forever probably because it's one of the most complex uh, disassembly that i've ever done and one of the longest uh, honestly because uh, probably this video is going to be like 25 minutes i don't know something like that 27 30 so it's a long time guys for you to be watching this kind of content but i love it if you are still here and you s didn't skip a second of this video you are fantastic because it means you have passion it means you love to see these mechanical things moving and uh, and being put together and cleaned and lubed. It's I love it. So now the scales are together and uh, that is fine. Just keep it pinched. Don't leave it ever. So now that is fine. So uh, the pivot screw can get into place. Uh, so you do not have to do the same thing again that I did three times. So there you go. So you got the scale that's together. Now the backspacer can easily be, uh, can, you can slide it in, just center the hole, grab your screw and just screw that backspacer screw in like so. And uh, just don't over tighten for now because you have to align the spacer in a second. and uh, that's too tight you see so just a little bit less there you go and so that can slide in without scratching anything and now you can tighten that very good so now that is done you slide the scale in you see there's like a dovetail kind of thing that goes inside underneath like a lip like a bevel i don't know how to call it so you just push it and this is gonna snap in place. How cool is that? That's amazing. 
And uh, with the, the tool just centering a little bit more the spacer, Chicago screw is in place. And right now, the last screw, you're going to have to pay the same level of attention you had at the beginning when you unscrew that. So right now, as you can see, the hole is partially blocked by the pocket clip. So again, take your time. Just go slowly, slowly, slowly. All these efforts are going to pay off if you take your time. Just take it easy. Go slow. And you're not going to scratch, ruin, damage anything. You're going to be such a happy camper with such a nice action on your knife that you're going to be so happy. And here I'm just very, very cautiously with the taped down bit, not to scratch anything. At least you have plastic up against the titanium. You see, it's like going at a little bit of an angle. Now it's tightened up. So now we got... Uh, I would love you to see that to, to hear the, the, the sound this fella makes, but you can check the review for the sounds. And this guy is like that. So let me see. Blade play. I don't remember. I don't think there was none. It looks it's a little bit. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. If maybe it needs a little bit of. Uh, oh, my God. This thing is smooth. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember distinctively the action. It was incredible after this cleanup. Such a smooth knife, uh, buttery, creamy, uh, how you want to call it. That's amazing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.